Okay, so there's a couple of other things on the market that I just want to talk to you about, and that's easy flossers. I have touched on these in one of my 40 second oral hygiene and videos, but easy flossers are come in all shapes and sizes, and they're essentially something like this, or something like this, and they're white plastic frames with floss on them. Some of them have floss on, like that, and some of them have floss tape on, like that. Again, I prefer the ones with the floss tape on. Um, and out of the choice of these two main types of shape, I would tend to probably go for this one here, um, the fork type shape, so the fork one. I find it a lot easier to use. They generally have the floss tape on, like so. Just bring it into shot there. Uh, they're a lot stronger and you could probably, as long as you've not got too many tight gaps or too many snag points, you could probably get around the mouth with one or one or two of these um, e each time that you floss. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the technique using the Orby glide stick. Again, we can uh, position it and we can move it backwards and forwards to get it past the tooth contact point and then it's going to pop into that space and then we can push or pull it towards the tooth that we're doing, slide it up and down two or three times, move over to the other side, slide it up and down two or three times and then move it backwards and forwards just to pop it out of the space again. So I'll show you that now. Okay, it's hard to see on the video, but I'm just going to demonstrate, I'm going to move back in the mouth a little way to my premolars and I'm just going to do a back one, just so you can see the, the ease of using the fork shaped ones, okay. And you've got a little handle that you can hold on to here, and uh, that's quite good, but you don't have to wrap it around your middle fingers and use your thumb and your forefingers to control it all. So it's a lot easier in, in most respects. So that's it really, that's all about flossing and that's talked about floss, floss tape and the easy flossers. Um, there's not a lot else to say, it's just practice, it is really just practice, it's perseverance and practice. You need to just get the floss or get the easy flossers and, and do it a little bit each day starting off on the front teeth and just working your way back in the mouth and do it each day for a week, uh, 10 days or so and you'll find it'll get easier and it'll get easier and at first you may get some bleeding, don't let that put you off. Um, to largely ignore the bleeding that you get um, as long as you're not sawing the floss or the flossers next to the gum you're not going to cut yourself um, if you do do the sawing action you may um, traumatize the gum a little bit so definitely sliding up and down up and down and then you're standing relatively uh, little risk of cutting your gums and the bleeding you get will be just because the gums are irritated because you don't normally do this and you've got plaque build up so that's it that's my video on flossing I've gone through um, um, some flossing technique. Uh, we've touched on the pros and cons of floss and floss tape and I've showed you uh, a couple of different types of the easy flossers that are available. So, um, practice, practice, practice. Uh, the more you do this the, the more confident you will get and um, enjoy this glorious, glorious day. Um, enjoy the sunshine, have a great weekend everyone and I'll speak to you soon. Bye! And there's no stopping us right now I feel so close to you right now